Why PJ Pugapiller is rigged against a player in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. So you know that lovable blue super long dog that chases you through an obstacle course? He's a cheater. PJ Pugapiller is an absolute cheater, and I'm going to tell you why. So in Poppy Playtime, Chapter 2 specifically, the developers do this really interesting thing with the characters. And I get why they do this, but it also has some negative consequences as well. So they do this thing with dynamic speed scaling in regards to characters that are chasing after you. And the first time I saw this, I immediately thought of that truck chase scene in Sonic Adventure 2. There's a truck chasing Sonic. If the truck hits Sonic at all, it like slows down for some reason. Like the speed of the truck is slower and slower the closer it is to Sonic. And it's really, really strange because it should just be running him over, right? Now let's swap over to Poppy Playtime because they do the same thing and it's kind of broken. So when Mommy Longlegs is chasing you in certain areas, the game is constantly tailoring her speed to match the character. So in some cases, you can be racing through the sewers and barely get through. Even though you're going super fast, Mommy Longlegs will be right behind you. And then you have creators like Astral Spiff, who decide to take this whole thing super, super slow. And they literally walk through the sewers, and yet Mommy Longlegs cannot catch them. Why is this? Well, it's because Mommy's speed is both scaled to match the player, but also she is instantly spawned in certain areas so she never, ever gets too far behind the player. And personally, I think this causes some issues, especially in the sewer scene, when you have to reach up and grab that handle above you, because it's actually very easy to die at this part because of this trick the developers are trying to do. And it's kind of frustrating. And it gets worse because like in the final chase scene where you're going down the long hallway, um, you may have seen me talk about this in another video, but you can just sit on the side of the hallway and Mommy Longlegs will run right by you. When she gets near you, she slows down. She like slows to a crawl, waiting for the player to move, and then she just slowly crawls past you and moves on. This is because the speed of Mommy Longlegs is dynamically tied to the player's position. If the player is not a sheep and does not run in a straight line, then all of the things that make this chase scene really interesting kind of fall apart. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still effective, right? But uh, this applies to other areas as well. So let's talk about PJ Pugapillar now, because they honestly did this with PJ Pugapillar as well, and it's kind of broken. When it comes to a chase sequence in the dark, PJ Pugapillar's room is really scary. It's like Squid Game, except instead of getting shot, there's a killer dog that's sneaking up on you. But once again, no matter how fast you are as a player, you could be amazing at this game and get super, super far ahead of PJ Pugapillar, but none of that matters because the game is going to move PJ Pugapillar, so they are paced with your movement. Now, I will be honest, compared to the Mommy Longlegs issues, this one isn't so bad, but the first time I noticed it, my jaw dropped. Just for the heck of it, I warped all the way across the map, and PJ Pugapillar put on the gas because he was flying through this level. So this minigame is kind of rigged, and I feel bad for the children that were put through this because no matter how fast they are, PJ Pugapillar is going to be just as fast and always causing a constant sense of dread. This dog looks cute, but he has a very, very evil side to him. Now obviously I'm being a little critical in this video, and the developers still did an amazing job on this game and all these scenes. But it is a little interesting, when you start to play a little differently than the developers planned, these scenes start to show their cracks a little bit. But yeah, both PJ Pugapillar and Mommy Longlegs are both rigged in Poppy Playtime. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you love the content I'm making on Poppy Playtime and soon to be other horror games, subscribe right now if you haven't already. I have a lot more videos coming and I'm super excited to share them. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers!